Yo, what's up, it's Salmi and Chicken Gang, it's your boy Omar Zemes, and we are back with another Apex Legends video. In this video, we're going to speak about how or why I play on the highest sense on Apex Legends and why do I prefer to play high ADS. And this is just gonna be a video talking about my ADS and my sense because a lot of people asking me about my ADS and I mean, about my settings personally, and they tell me why do I play. Uh, why do I play uh, on high sense, or how do I play on high sense, or is it good or whatever? So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly everything you need to know. Anyway, if you guys new to the channel, do not subscribe yet. Hit the sub button and drop a like on my video to support my content. We're close to hit the 90 subs. Thank you a lot, guys. If you guys wanna join the SMS army, you have the link in the Discord in the description down below. And we're doing also a training center, a free for free training center where there's a coach who will train you if you guys support the, con uh, the support the channel a lot. So anyway, let me jump straight to the video guys here are my settings let me go straight to it because a lot of people have been asking for it and that's what i use i use four two two uh this is the high sense i'm talking about the yaw speed and this is the one mainly that i'm talking about which is the ads yaw speed now a lot of people be telling me how to play on an ads yaw speed that is high a lot of people prefer to play low sense or they think that low sense is just better and land just more actually it's not it's not that case i'm gonna explain to you guys why do i prefer high sense and why i'm not going back to low sense and i will never go back to low sense so first of all uh why high sense is good i'm gonna talk about the advantage or, or let me just jump straight into the disadvantage why high sense is a little bit hard for the people that don't like they don't prefer high sense first of all if you want to go if you want to play high sense uh on long range it's gonna be harder at the start uh, you're gonna feel like uh moving the ADS is just like aim assist is just smaller everything is gonna be different so it's gonna be a little bit harder you, you need to to put a lot of pressure I mean you need to, to do a lot of things just to land your shots and this is what high sense is now why is it good I'm gonna talk about why is it good all right for me and why do I prefer it and why I will never go to put back to low sense the reason why I'm not going back to low sense is because on high sense you can actually do whatever you want whatever position you are in you can kill anyone you guys want so basically uh, when you have a, a very high ADS you can actually just land your shots on a close range fight by aiming by hip firing whatever you guys want you guys you guys can aim in any position you want and you can just move the aim toward the enemy and you can just kill him and that's pretty easy that's pretty it also the same thing on mid-range fight mid-range fight also if you want to aim on the target you can barely move the analog and you're gonna track him very easily but the low sense is not gonna be like that the low sense is gonna be so different you have to head your uh, position in the right way and you have to aim in the right way before doing anything you can just aim and start shooting whatever you want so this is why i don't like low sense and low sense you can't actually do whatever you guys want you have to depend on the emesis and that's the problem that low sense you have to depend on the emesis more which high sense is different that is gonna be up to you it's gonna be up to the muscle memory that you have so you're gonna be playing as you want so it's, it's just 10 times better for me especially if you got used to the high sense it's just something else guys so i'm gonna jump straight to the firing range and tell you guys exactly the other things that you must know now these are things that i'm showing you guys here what i use 210 ads i will tell you exactly why i'm playing it all right guys so we are in the final range and i'm gonna explain to you guys exactly what i meant when i said that the high sense is better for me and what why i prefer it so here are the advantages that i'm gonna just keep on it on details so let's say you guys are just pushing this guy right here and you're just pushing like that all right so like straight and the camera is still here of course on the low sense you you should push like that first so you can aim but since you have a high sense you don't really need to care about the position that much even though that the position of course will be better for you if you care about it but with the high sense you have an advantage that if you don't have the position on the any on the target you can still beam him so let's say an example you push like that the camera still here you you get the camera right here like right like that you can aim straight all right so i'm gonna show you how it will be fast you can see how i just did it all right so let me just repeat it again all right so this is what i mean by advantages with the flicks so let me show you again all right so this is also what i mean 
Now the other one also in the fight that is even better in the close range that was for the mid range. Now the mid, uh, now the close range fight you can actually just move like that even if the enemy is strafing really fast. So you can just go with him. It's gonna be like that. For example, and I'm missing a lot of shots, but get the idea. You can see how I'm just aiming without doing it. Up. Let me just load this a little bit. Okay, you can see how I'm aiming without even facing a problem, without even fixing the position. I'm just doing that. You can tell that this is high sense. You see how I went from this target to that target, for example, like that, really fast. So yeah, this is the big advantage on close range fight and that was the big advantage on mid range fight that I mentioned. Other stuff, let's talk about the wingman for example, why I like also the wingman on high sense even though some people say that wingman need a low sense, I don't really uh, I don't really agree with these people. The high sense with the wingman is really good also, you can even do the same thing I mentioned so you can basically do that, for example, we can do this. Wait, let me show you, for example, like that. So it's gonna be like that. Do this also as a shot. So yeah, these are also an advantage with the wingman. You can have the free mobility with any weapon you guys need. And yeah, this is it. Like I'm just speaking basically about ADS high speed more than camera because a lot of people already use the camera but they don't use high ADS. So this is what I what I mentioned before and what it looks in details. Anyway, I'm not forcing you guys to play with high sense. Of course, low sense is just better for like easier to use. But if you guys get used to the high sense or like like playing with high sense and or asking me why I play high sense and why I prefer it, I don't prefer it basically only for the movement. I prefer it for aiming and feeling the free will in aiming and feeling that I can just aim whatever position I want or whatever position I want or I have. So basically what I mean is that high sense for me it feels like more more uh, capable of doing anything I want. So. This is why I use Hisense. I hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you guys need more like these videos, drop a comment below. Let me you guys know if you are interested. Drop a like, support my content. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.